Hello everyone! Today we're in Japan and we're gonna try three different unagi dishes at three different price points. And then we're gonna say which one is the most worth its price. And our favorites. Yeah, and our favorite. Yeah. Our first stop is gonna be Asakusa Unana. It's basically a rice ball with unagi on it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's, Let's go! go. First place, yeah. Sakusa Unana. A very Unana. small and like hidden, kind of hidden gem kind of place. There's no line though. What happened just now? So it's 2.45 right now, it's 2.45 p.m. And she tells me that our rice balls will be ready at 5.05. It's so popular that like people get the ticket and then they come back to pick it up. So now we're kind of like forced to stay around this area, which is fine. There's a lot of things to see, but it's kind of like, Damn. um, we for someone who's right like right. traveling, that's not very like time efficient. Yeah. Two right. hours later. <laughs> you can tell probably by how, how much darker it is. <laughs> she just collected our number. We finally got the... Try it now. Let's try it. <laughs> I think the eel is really fatty mm. and oily. It tastes the flavor so good. Um, you can taste the sauce too. And then they put some like um, seasoning on top that it's kind of like citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's grilled with like some sauce. Yeah. And mm. for the price, that's like not bad. Six dollars. Six dollars. Yeah. But the weight is like crazy for this. But for this box is pretty good, but not worth the wait. Hundred percent not. Okay. Let's go good. to the next one. We are currently in um, Shibuya. We're going to our second unagi place. The two dollar sign one. Two dollar sign one. Where are we going? We are going to Unagi, unagi Nobori. Nobori. Yeah. So they open until 11 p.m. and you can basically cook your own unagi. So we're gonna check that out. We're finally here. Let's go. We're gonna be basically cooking our unagi here. This one is a little bit like bland, so he gave us like a few seasonings to, to, to put this on. So the sauce. I like how the skin is like a chocolate. I like mine a little bit charred and like greasy. Look at the sugar glazing and what's on the other Look at that. But this it's even better. We got a bonus for free. What is this? So what do you think of that place? If you like unagi, the flavors are like top notch and the experience is pretty good. It's kind of like an izakaya experience. Drink selection is also really good too. We had like a oolong tea sake kind of thing. So if you like to drink, you like the like the cozy vibes and you like unagi, like this is definitely the place to go. So I, I liked it. Yeah. How about you? I agree. Basically everything you just said. Mm -hmm. May it feels like a drinking drinking food, mm -hmm. this this one. Yeah. But somehow I really like it. The I get to try different type of unagi. The drinking part is um, interesting because you get to try different type of alcoholic drink that yeah. fits with the food. So that and was very interesting for and me. Would you say the best part of it is like the point of being able to grill it yourself is like yeah. you can grill it to like until it's really charred. Pretty cool. Yeah, it was really good. On to good. the next one.
we're finally in our final spot. No Daiwa. <laughs> 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 no, no, Daiwa Daiwa Azabu Azabu no, cannot. What? It's uh, no Daiwa no Azabu Ikura Hotel. Yeah. Three dollar sign place. It's a one star Michelin recommended. So mm -hmm. this is gonna be our most expensive place, and we're gonna try their unagi here. There's no line or anything. Walk yeah. in for two people, so we can just go right in. flavorful as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I think it might be because there's no sauce on it. Oh, we got some extra. Oh yeah, it's not focused. Let's do it on okay. mm. The unagi melts in your mouth a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like there's not that much of a chew. Mm. Like now I'm thinking that the ones that are frozen and stuff. I, they're probably like really old and stale like mm. this one. I can really taste it. It's wow. wow. She told us how to eat it. Okay. First, you take some of this in this little bowl right here. And then we have the soup. We're going to put inside this here. Okay. Wow. Then what we're going to do is going to put some of this toppings here. We have some yuzu here. A single seaweed. Single seaweed. A lot of it's. There you go. And this is the thing. Let me try now. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, it smells interesting. Let's go. Mm. Oh, I really like that. No, oh, there's so many knots. How many knots counter it's that? So huh? good. You gotta count, put it in the corner right here, not counter. Yeah. Yours is really fresh. There's like a yeah. sense of freshness. It's and simple, like, right? Yeah. I would eat that in the winter, like all oh, day. So good. I love it. That one's really good. This one is definitely like a classic. Yeah. With the sauce, I think it tastes better. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I'm used to the saucy, sweet unagi. Yeah. Um, but yours are different. I yeah. highly recommend that. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's just chowing down on this. Mm. We also have some little like um, veggie. So we, we just, just had a dinner. What do you think of it? It was pretty good. Um, I liked it because it was like it had a traditional setting. The fish was fresh. It was like kind of on the blander side. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like how mind blowing was it? It wasn't like amazing, no. but but also maybe that's the point of it, right? Maybe good unagi is not about like all the sauce and like all it's the juice. The it's about the texture and like the freshness. So like, it was a pretty good experience too. And then they gave us this little towel, towel thing at the end, which is nice. Total comes out to uh, fourteen thousand nine hundred sixty, which mm -hmm. is around one hundred fifty dollar yeah. Canadian. They also charge a ten percent like service, like a tip basically. Um, which I found to be perfectly fine because the service was really good. Um, and yeah. yeah. Out of 
all four places, our favorite was actually Hitsumabushi Bincho. Because although each restaurant had its own unique take on unagi dishes, we felt like this one was the most well-rounded and valuable for its price. Let us know which ones you would try and thanks for watching!